Vintage Colorizer. Welcome to your second project with Python. Today we'll pick up some old black and white photos and imagine what they'd look like if captured today with color photography. Let's get to filling color in pictures and bring the past to life. Let's do a quick revision on computer vision. This is the field of study that gives computers the ability to see and identify digital images and videos just like a human would. The process of computer vision involves acquiring, processing, analyzing and understanding digital images to extract high dimensional data from the real world. With this, we generate symbolic or numerical information to help make decisions. For this project, we'll use the libraries NumPy and OpenCV. OpenCV is a library for real-time computer vision and is great for applications like gesture recognition, mobile robotics, human-computer interaction, motion tracking, augmented reality, and structure from motion. It is written in C++. We'll be using the CV2 Python interface. So here's what we're going to do. We'll convert the image from RGB to the lab color space. Then use the L channel as grayscale input to the network. We can do this because the L channel only encodes intensity. We'll then use it to train the network and predict the A and B channels. We'll then combine the input L channel with the predicted AB channel and convert the image from the lab color space back to RGB. This fills in the original image appropriate colors and renders the colorized version we want. Open the command prompt and get to the desktop. Let's first create a virtual environment. Move to the vintage colorizer directory and activate the virtual environment. Now install OpenCV Python with pip. We're all set. This is our project directory structure. Inside lib, we create the images and model directory. These are the files we'll need for the model. And inside images, we have three directories. Icons holds the icon we'll use for the project. This is the image you'll see when you run the project. We store this locally in the project folder. So this works for you with relative imports and without path issues. And these are some sample images for you to try the project on. Let's take a look at the code. This is the colorizer module. This is where we do the real thing. We import CV2 and NumPy and we have the function add color. This takes a file path for the image to operate on. First we make it read the cafe model with read net from cafe. CAFE is an open source deep learning framework by the Berkeley Vision and Learning Center. There are four steps to training a CNN with CAFE. Data preparation, model definition, solver definition, and model training. Load loads the cluster center points. We load the cluster centers and add them to the model as one by one convolutions. We proceed by reading the image with IM read. Then we scale the pixel intensities to the range 0, 1 and convert the image from RGB to the lab color space. This expresses color as three values. L for lightness from black to white, A from green to red, and B from blue to yellow. Then we resize this image to 224 by 224 since that's what the colorization network access. We split the channel and extract the L channel. Then we perform mean subtraction. We pass the L channel through the network using blob from image to create a four dimensional blob from the image. The network predicts the A and B channel values and lets us extract the predicted AB volume. We then resize AB to the dimensions of our input image. We concatenate the predicted AB channel to the L channel from the original input image to get the colorized image. Now we convert it back from lab to the RGB color space and clip any pixel intensities falling outside the range of 0 to 1. 
This is now a floating point data type in the range 0 to 1. We convert it to the 8-bit integer type in the range 0 to 255 and return it. Now this is the vintage colorizer module. Here we import stuff from tkinter, colorizer, pill, cv2 and os. We create a top window and set its size, title, icon and a background color. Let's put the vintage colorizer image on this window using a label from tkinter. Now let's create an upload button. This leads to the upload image function when clicked. We'll set some colors and fonts and place it at this relative position on the screen and a button that will let us pick a sample image to work on. Suppose we click the upload button. Now inside the upload image function, ask open file name gives us an open dialog to pick a file from our machine. Let's talk about the file path and sample gallery parameters later. So we open the image with image.open and resize it to fit the screen with thumbnail by dividing by 2.25 the window width and height. I am is this image. Then we call the new image function. Here it creates a new top level window, puts the image on the left and adds the convert button to the right. Clicking this takes us to the convert function. Convert makes a call to add color from colorizer and calls it colorized image. We do the needful and pack it to the right of the screen. Then we display the save button on the screen. Clicking this takes us to the save colorized function. And in this function, it gives us a save dialog via ask save as file name. The optional file types are JPG, PNG and all files. And whatever the extension of the original image, we let it be the extension of the resulting image too. So JPG stays JPG and PNG stays PNG. Then we save the image with save. Throughout the code, we put stuff in try except blocks. This is why. Here, if the user clicks the save button and then closes the save dialog without saving the image, this stops it from raising an exception. Now let's observe the upload sample function. We create a new top level window for this. We add a text label and then for each image in the samples directory, we create a label and pack it to the screen. We change the cursor to a hand and bind each such label to the upload image function using a lambda and keyword arguments. As arguments, we send in a file path and the sample gallery top level object. Suppose the user chooses to work on a sample image instead of uploading an image. This means the upload image function ultimately gets the file path to the selected sample image and the sample gallery top level object. So it gives us the open file dialog only if it does have a file path. This is only possible if the user asked to work on a sample image. Also, if sample gallery isn't none, the user asked to work on a sample image. So we open that image and destroy the sample gallery top level window because we don't need it anymore. And now let's see this working. This is our vintage colorizer. You can see the image, the icon and the buttons here. Let's work on a sample image. Now colorize it. You'll see how it has been colorized appropriately. We can also save it to our computer. Let's try different images with this colorizer. You'll see that all images work fine with this colorizer. Let's try this one. It imagined the color of half her hair to be blonde, when in reality it is green. So while this isn't always perfect, it always gives us something we can work with. You can try some more pictures and compare them to the original. Or you can bring out those old family pictures you've always wanted to see in color and do the magic. What do you think? I'm Ayushi Sharma. Let's talk in the discussion forum. 
and discuss more project ideas